I have this, right? You are seeing both now. Now suppose I move this and bring it at a, light, a position so that you don't see this. So this is basically an eclipse of this by that, right? So eclipse is essentially, or the other way of like the lunar eclipse takes place because like if you stand, if you go, uh, if there is a big tree, right? Under the big tree, you will see that there is a very dense shadow, right? A person which is moving in, on the, in the field and getting the sunlight and goes in under that tree, passes through. And if you take the photograph of that person or take a video, as long as he is outside the shadow, you are getting good light from him. And once he gets in the shadow, you get almost no light. Right? So that is the lunar that it passes through the shadow of the earth and so we don't see, we don't get so much reflected light. Though still we get some light from the moon because our atmosphere has this pollutant, the gases, and they scatter light. Because on a, on a full moon day, the sun is on that side, this is earth, and moon is on this side. So this atmosphere of the uh, earth scatters light of the sun, which falls on those. And this scattering, as you know, depends on the wavelength, right? The, the scattering is less on the radio wavelength and more on the blue light, right? Higher frequency scatters more. So the radio waves comes in the straight, straight direction. The blue, the higher frequency part goes away from us. So, when, when the total lunar eclipse takes place, at that time there is a scattered red light of the sun by our atmosphere which falls on the moon and so the moon becomes slightly red, it's very light red color object we see. So it becomes red at that time. So otherwise it is. And why the eclipse doesn't take place on every uh, full moon day? So that is because it is always on, on a full moon day, sun is always on the one side of the earth, then earth and then moon. But suppose it is it, it orbits the earth and if it orbits just outside the shadow, then it shines fully. So we see complete sun, complete moon, so they go. But on because this orbit of the sun and the moon uh, they are, because there is a plane in which the sun moves. Apparently, basically, so earth is moving, but apparently we see that sun is moving. So that makes a, a that is a one year orbit, one year period orbital plane, right? And there is a shorter orbital plane of the moon, which takes in about 28 or 29 days, right? And these two orbital planes are not coplanar. If they were in the same plane, then every uh, every uh, new moon day on the Amavasya you will have solar eclipse, and every full moon day you will have lunar. Moon. If they were coplanar, they were same plane, but they make an angle of about five degrees. And five degree is good enough for sun and moon to escape moon to escape the shadow of the earth and sun to escape coming behind the sun. But there is a crossing point which in the, uh, our ancient astro astrologers or astronomers they used to call that as Rahu and Ketu. The ascending phase and the descending phase of nodes of the orbit. And whenever it is near that point at that time if there is a full moon day, you will have lunar eclipse. If there is a new moon day, Ramavasya, you will have solar eclipse. Only when it is near. And this, because the Earth orbit or Sun's orbital period is one year long, and these crossing points are two points, so there is about a six months difference between the solar eclipse and the lunar. And then they will either happen here, there can be, there will be at least two uh, eclipses, one solar, one lunar, at each crossing. So thereby, 
in a year you will have four eclipses, two lunar and two solar. But sometimes at one crossing point there can be more than one lunar or solar eclipse. So there will be three here, two there, then it becomes five. And if three here and three here, can become six. But more than that has been. Though theoretically it is possible because and closer, closer to the point of crossing where the plane cross, that decides the magnitude of the eclipse. If it is exactly on the crossing point, then you have total eclipse of the moon and total eclipse of the sun. And when it is slightly away from the crossing, you will have partial or you may have total also, but the duration will be less. So that's it. This myth that you let me also address the myth part of our question. Uh, so it just came out with curiosity that yeah, that's true. Madam also so discussed that in many and, uh, <laughs> See, the lunar eclipse as such, that is usually the naked eye, is not very exciting. It's interesting. You, you, even total eclipse also, total lunar eclipse also interesting in the sense that you get the red light from the sun, which you have never seen before. Right? So that is the intent. But the total solar eclipse is a very exciting, extremely exciting. Even I have a, a okay. clip in this computer. I will not only speak, then it will show Even the scientists who go and to take observation of the sun, they get so much excited, though many a time their instruments also don't operate the way they should operate. So common men also get excited. And that is perhaps the reason that our ancestors have said that when a woman is pregnant, she should not watch eclipse. The lunar eclipse is no problem. Partial solar eclipse is also no problem, but total solar eclipse is a very big problem. Because at the, at, in that position, if she gets excited or start jumping, then there, there could be problem, serious problem. So that is, and the other reason of creating the myth is also that the total solar eclipse, and the, that the total solar eclipse taking place, our eyes get dilated. And the <coughs> corona that you see very bright for a while. So of course you know, the light is about 100 of the light that you, 100,000 of the light that you get from the sun. So very, very feeble light. It's almost like night for you. That's why you can see when stars at the time. Some stars become visible to you. So our eyes get dilated and uh, this emission of the X-rays, gamma rays, they don't come from the photosphere. They are mostly from the outer sun, the corona, which is not covered by the moon. So the emission of X-ray and gamma rays or ultraviolet rays has not reduced. I, our eyes have dilated. So when we, if we see the total solar eclipse without any protection, without any eye spectra, it includes three, four X-ray rays in front of us, then our eyes can be So that's, a, and before these things were not there, maybe our disease knew it, that this is what will happen. But they, and then it, because they cannot create so much of facility, so instead of doing that, we did create a fear, or separate, safe. You know, living safe is more required than learning about this. Right? Yes, ma'am. One of you, maybe come here. As, as we are running short of time, this would be the last question, please. Yes, um, we are running short of time. Uh, so, could this please be the last question? No, huh? I have no problem. It's only up to you. Sir, my question is that it is possible still that we can travel time in the future or in the past? We can? Time travel. 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 Time travel.
So can we travel into past? Fiction movies. Fiction movies. Fiction movies. थोड़ा सा वो वो तो है थियोरिटिकल एक्सप्लेन ये भी किसी एनी वन इज ट्रेवल इन स्पेस क्राफ्ट इन दिलोसिटी लार्जर दिलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट राइट दैन गो टू दी पास्ट ऑफ लाइट फ्यूचर में तो फ्यू वेट यू विल एनी वे गो इन फ्यूचर और वो तो जो है तो पी आर यू कैन राइट ऑन दैट स्पीक अबाउट योर कॉलेज एंड द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट एंड द स्टूडेंट एंड द टीचर्स विल गो एंड गिव सम टाइम सम डेट दैट अराउंड दिस डेट वी वांट टू कम नॉट द एग्जैक्ट यू ऑन दैट बट दे विल बी राइट यू बैक एंड यू कैन बाय यू कैन चेक इट देयर आर आल्सो टेलीफोन नंबर बात 
कि अभी अभी मोरेरा में सूर्य मंदिर का ही उद्घाटन पुनर्घाटन हुआ मोरेरा का सूर्य मंदिर मिट चुका मुल्तान का सूर्य मंदिर मारतंड का सूर्य मंदिर और हमारे हर प्रतीक में सूर्य का ही होना दिखाता है कि अंतरिक्ष में हमारी संसार की पहली सोच भारत की ही थी भारत विज्ञान की धरती है हमारे प्राचीन काल से हमारे ऋषि मुनियों से लेकर वैज्ञानिक तक ने अंतरिक्ष पर ही शोध किया है बड़ा मिहिर से लेकर आर्यभट्ट तक भास्कराचार्य से लेकर सत्येंद्र नाथ बोस तक आदि ने विज्ञान नक्षत्र विद्या अध्यात्म और गणित के ज्ञान के मिश्रण के साथ सूर्य सिद्धांत से लेकर गणित के हर सिद्धांत पर खोज किया जिस पर अब आप शोध करेंगे नाशा हम पर निर्भर करता है हम संसार को नई दिशा देंगे मैं अंत मन से सर आपका धन्यवाद करता हूँ आपने हमारे विद्यार्थियों के लिए उन्हें आशीर्वाद देने के लिए समय निकाला आपका मार्गदर्शन हम सभी के लिए प्रेरणादायी है पुनः Thank you. 